What's going on, fellas? I'm back at it with this 2012 Chevy Equinox. I'm showing you the fuses for the power outlet there. And uh, there's another one in the back here, right there. So I'm showing you both fuses for that and some other troubleshooting steps. So we can get to the fuses by hooking in under here and pulling out. The first fuse I'll check is this top one here. This 20 amp fuse provides power to the outlet that's in here. And we can take a look at the fuse and see that it's intact. It's got that neat little U-shaped piece in there. The fuse underneath it here is for the rear outlet that's built into the console. Now, if you've checked both of those fuses and they're both good, but you're still not getting any power, well, both of those fuses receive power from the accessory relay right here. We can try tapping on it, or we can swap it with another good relay. So I'll show you another relay you can swap it with under the hood. And this relay is controlled by the body control module. That's what ultimately turns the relay on to send power. So we're gonna open this here, squeezing these together and lifting up. You could pretty much swap with any of these rectangular relays. Although my favorite to swap with is the defog relay, as that's a relay that's not used very often where I live. So we're gonna pop that down here. And while we're swapping the relay, we'll want to check this 60 amp J case fuse right here. That is what provides power to that relay. But we've got our new relay, so let's go and put it back in. And these four pin relays you can install in any direction. So you can in install it here, or you can install it here. So yeah, if after swapping the relays, your outlets start to work, then you know that the relay was the problem. So yeah, I hope that this information was helpful for you. Please do let me know if you have any questions, or more importantly, if you have any advice for troubleshooting the cigarette lighters or the power outlets on your Chevy Equinox.